<laughs> that was so active. My name is DJ or Daniela, whatever you want to call me. And my phone's going off. Okay. And I'm outside for some reason today. Um, and today is the 1st of October. Whoa. Um, and yeah, this is the 1st of October that I'm filming this. I don't know if I'm actually going to upload it on today. I'm going to actually open it to show you the date because, uh, <laughs> My lock screen has my information on it, so the first of October. Oh, woo! Oh, I, and it's five eighteen, and it's sixty-three degrees out. And for some reason, I'm filming outside because life. And because it's October, that means Halloween's coming up. So, woo! And. Yes, Halloween usually means spooky videos, but I'm afraid of the dark, so not filming in the dark. Woo! <laughs> this one time, uh, that's me. I'm I'm seriously afraid of the dark. It's not a joke. I'm I'm petrified of the dark. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And so I'm outside. You're sitting on a place set, which is weird because we don't got kids in our house. This is just. And this wasn't from when I was a kid. We didn't have this when I was a kid. When I was a kid, we had another one. That was given to my cousins, I think. Yeah. And we just got rid of that. And then we got this, which I, I play on. I play on that middle swing right there. Cause I put it up, so I literally, like... Woo! I play on this swing, because it's, like, higher than all the rest. Uh, because I put it up there. And I play on two discs. Speak, talk about what I'm doing, what's my life like. Yes, it's been a while, I know. I was planning my schedule. Um, but my last video, I hopefully you enjoyed what I'm doing now with the videos over here or here. I forget which side I put on, but yeah. But really, I like that. I like that idea. I'm planning to do that now. Um, and I'm also planning to vlog. Like, actually, like, walk around and vlog. I'm trying to save for a camera. I did vlog to Walmart to get my earbuds. I'm trying to find a way to transfer those videos to my Chromebook to edit. And, but I can't download editing software. So I had to find a way to edit without downloading editing software. Because this is school property. And I can't download anything that's not school related. And I was just out here practicing guitar. So, yeah. This has no correlation but when we want to be talking about this video I'm talking about the spooky season spooky scary skeletons <laughs> yep I seriously I love Halloween Halloween is the best which is kind of weird fall isn't my favorite season but I love like the fall holidays which is Halloween and, and Thanksgiving but my favorite season is winter snow. I want to get married in winter if I ever get married. Like, I want it to be on, like, snowy... Oh, yeah. I, I wanted, like, a Phoebe wedding for a while. Yeah, since I was a little kid, I always said I wanted that wedding. If you don't... Friends, Phoebe, when she got married, perfect wedding. That, that was so pretty. <laughs> I'm just... <sighs> yeah. But I'm not talking about weddings, I'm talking about the spooky, spooky things. Because it's spooky, spooky season. I'm just outside in the spooky, spooky world. I, I'm, I don't like being outside filming. <laughs> but I want to, because trees and leaves and... Fall! <laughs> I should have made my view. <laughs> that would be a great intro. Just blow, throwing leaves and yellow and fall. So that the leaves aren't colorful. Be colorful. It's only green and brown. Seriously. Green and brown. That, that's it. Like, there's a tree. No colorful. Get more colorful. Give me colorful. Okay. I love Halloween so much. Oh, God. And so, yeah. And I'm also planning to vlog on Halloween. Um, I'm going to the Haunted Barn, which is a thing that used to be around, like, every year when I was younger. But then the guy stopped doing it because there's so many different things. Like, he had cancer, family things. 
There's so many different things that are being said, but all I know, he stopped doing it, but he's doing it again this year. Hopefully years after that, I really enjoyed it. I'm thinking of vlogging it, if I could. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, I'm also going to be, when I get my costume, I'm going to make a video of me showing it off. I'm being Wendy Darling from Peter Pan because why not? It's the next year either Cas uh, Captain Jack Harkness or Castiel. Those are two costumes, and if I pick one, they'll do the other the next year. Quite easy. <laughs> Spooky things now. Now that I got the update, and I'm sorry if that, that, yeah, I haven't uploaded in a while. But now it's spooky! I'm wearing black that does say emo and something that isn't really spooky, which is Hello Kitty Pants, but whatever. I'm being spooky right now, and it's not spooky, y'all. I know it is, but they can't help. I'm afraid of the dark. I'm talking about spooky, spooky things. Not really that spooky, it's like childhood things and current things. I don't care if you don't believe in ghosts. I seriously don't care. I do, I do, my family does. It's like something that I just grew up with. I used to live in a haunted house. My parents studied Wiccan when they were younger. Like that that was a religion. They were wicked. Like that's just who I am. Like I was, I'm like supernatural based. That's why I like to show supernatural. Also, Jensen Ackles and Jared Pelecki and Misha Collins <laughs> or Dimitri Tippins Krushnik that his real name person with a dog a tiny tiny dog Ooh. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself um spooky spooky first spooky thing woo, was when I was younger um, this involves also my brother. And I really wish I could have my brother here, but I'm awkward and... No. <laughs> but yeah, spooky, spooky, woo. I'm just trying to say that a lot, aren't I? Okay. <laughs> okay, they're passing. Okay. This is about a ghost friend. I had a ghost friend, both me and my brother. When I was younger, I talked to this girl named Emily. Very typical girl name. My parents immediately thought, Oh, she has a, like, a, a, a imaginary friend. Whatever. It, I'm a kid. Like, imaginations are wild when you're a kid. It's normal. But then my brother started to talk about Emily. And, like, he was also friends with Emily when I was younger. But apparently... Either Emily didn't want her, him to talk about it, or he just didn't want to talk about it. But when I started to talk about Emily, he came out and said, Yeah, I talked to Emily when I was younger too. And he actually still did. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. But my parents immediately thought that, oh, he's just playing around, like, playing with, along with her imagination. Whatever, being a good brother, will be like, yeah, your imaginary friend is real, whatever. But then, they were just curious. They separated me and my brother. They both asked us to describe Emily. We described her the exact same way. I don't exactly remember how I described her because I was a little kid. He probably described her a lot more <laughs> logically because he was older. But, like, she was with me up until like I think when I moved and I got more friends and then like sometimes I do sometimes feel like she's there and I, I, yeah it's weird and I get it you guys probably think I'm crazy but this happens and I still sometimes feel like she's there like a couple times I think I see her but then I'm like no that's not possible and then I just kind of let it go and I don't talk to her anymore. I don't see her anymore. Possibly I sometimes like when I walk home very late, I feel like someone's there, but someone that I trust, which I trust her, like she was my best friend. But I never actually seen her when I grew up. 
So it's like, is she imaginary friend or is she real? Did I just kind of stop? Because when you're younger, you can be more in tune to the spiritual realm. That's something that's always being said. But I sometimes think that I still am like that because I sometimes see things, but everyone does that. Everyone sometimes like sees things with just your mind. It's like weird and like, like one time I walked home, it was like midnight and I was walking home from my friend's house because I was sick and my parents weren't picking up so I had to get home because I seriously didn't feel well and I didn't want to get anyone else in that house sick. Cause there's young children and yeah I didn't want to get anyone sick and so I just went home and while I was walking I could have been that I'm just afraid of the dark and I'm petrified and like I'm paranoid that someone's actually there I didn't feel like someone was there like with me but I was fine with it I wasn't freaking out I wasn't constantly turning around being like is someone watching me I just kind of smiled and just got happy and I actually said hello Emily which I don't know if that was just my mind being like yes she's here or if I just subconsciously knew she was there I'm weird I know and I you guys probably think I'm making this up or being crazy which I am crazy but mm, yeah yeah <laughs> it does that is just something weird. Just something weird. Yeah. Now, I talk about Emily. Let's talk about Current, which I didn't promise I would talk about. Woo! Current. I live in a newer house. There was literally only one family that had before us, so and you only have for a little while. No one died in the house. It was, it's a newer house. Like, it's still settling and stuff. So the noise is, I don't really acknowledge because like oh we're on a hill it's settling it's newer and it's like getting old yeah but then there is some deaths that happen in my family like my uncle died and my dad's real dad's girlfriend or wife whatever died not really close to them so I'm like why would yeah but like there's been things that happened. Like, um, I was in my grandmother's room. We were watching YouTube. I say, cause, yeah, I we watch YouTube together. There's some YouTubers like Matthias Fat19, that type of things. Yeah, she understands my fangirlness because <laughs> she used to be a fangirl for the Beatles and Elvis. But while we were watching, we just heard a loud thud in her bathroom. Which, whatever things fall. But then we noticed, we looked in, she has this like wooden thing on the back of her toilet that has like things in it. And like that fell. But it wasn't just fall off the edge because it like it was a heavy wood thing. It doesn't really just fall for no reason. Like I literally have trouble lifting it and I can lift a hundred pounds. <laughs> And it, like, literally flew off of the toilet. But there was this one thing, this one white container. It was, like, a cream, I think. It was just sitting on top of the toilet. It was on top of everything, so it's, like, a magic trick. <laughs> it was, like, weird. That was pretty weird, but we just, like, whatever. It constantly happens. It, it's weird. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird, it could be nothing, but I believe in this stuff, so I'm like, okay, ghosts. Woo! <laughs> That's something I believe. Ooh! And when we got this, this, when this showed up, mm -hmm. when this showed up, <laughs> there's a person over there talk, like looking at me, so I'm like, ooh, being awkward. Okay, he's not looking at me. <laughs> this, um, occasionally these swings move, which easy. They're light, light swings. They're like these held by ropes. Like, very light. Wind sometimes move it a little bit. But then it's actually like swinging, like someone's in it. That's weird. And this is pretty old. 
this is an old thing. Like, I think this was around before we moved in. Which, this was our neighbors, and I don't know if it was there before the neighbors moved in. I don't really know that much about this. But these were swinging quite heavily. And then there's the two right there. They're, they're like flimsy little, these, these, these ones, like these. They were swinging like very heavily, like that. I just pushed it, by the way, if you guys are freaking out. I just pushed it. Another time, my parents saw like these swing lightly, but I saw them swing heavily. I also saw this one swing heavily. Um, that was kind of scary. Seeing those swing like someone's in them, that was scary. But like one of the times I made sense to have like the one next to the middle one swinging because I got off a little while before. But it's weird when no one's been on it the whole time. There's not that much wind. If there's wind, it does wind. It doesn't swing like that. It swings a little, and it's not exactly like going forward and back. It's like kind of wobbly. <laughs> this is literally going forward and back, like perfect. It, it's weird, and probably thinks I'm crazy, but yeah, I am kind of crazy, but not for this. I don't mess with this. No, I don't pretend with this stuff. I would never pretend with this, because I used to live in a haunted house. Whatever. I don't care if you believe in it or not. I caught, like, one time I was, I saw this lady in like this white dress and she was tucking me in I was literally crying so much because I hate getting like tucked in tight it's just something I don't like I don't like being confined now I don't like hugs and also I get sick easily but I was like crying my brother literally ran in and he literally untucked me and then he started to leave and I started to cry again because it, I was getting tucked in more he didn't see anything, but I was, and like, it, he just kept on like, he was like, I just untucked you, I'm like, <laughs> I was a baby, I couldn't like, un like, couldn't tuck myself in, my arms are stuck by my side, it's impossible for a baby to tuck themselves in with their arms to their side, it was terrifying for me, and my brother was so confused, hello birds. And like, it was terrifying, I hated the whole experience, but something that happened, and like, there's always been noises in my closet, when I, in my old house, uh, that could have just been my kid imagination, there was also a white microwave that always went off to the point my parents unplugged it, and like, had us unplug it whenever we weren't using it, but sometimes it actually went off when it was unplugged and it always showed these numbers which was a date that my gr mom's grandfather died her bumpy and that was like i think that was when it, uh, they, he died or was born i don't know but it was like it was weird it, it was weird it was so weird and scary for everyone in that house and me, I'm just like, cool. Because <laughs> I always enjoy... I, I enjoy the paranormal, but I'm petrified of it. Like, occasionally... Recently, literally just yesterday, I knew to talk about this. My cat, Dan, he walked... I sometimes leave my door open because I have three cats. They like to go in and out of my room. So I leave my door open slightly. Dan walked up. There's uh, t between my mom's and my room. There's like he stood in that area and looked into my room, into like the corner where we have a bunch of stuffed animals and stuff. But there's quite a bit of old stuffed animals, and he looked in and ran away so fast that I swore someone was in my room. Because he only really runs from people. He only runs from new people or people he's scared of. He doesn't really run from nothing. Like, occasionally he, like, 
we always say just run a burst of energy like he runs out of my room or into my room into my room it's like he just wants to get into my room fast because he likes my room for some reason but he looked into my room and ran away and like he runs out of my room fast I'm like what's in my room and like i don't know if you guys ever heard of this but if you show interest in the paranormal they get attracted to you. You have this energy that they get attracted to, which I always been interested in. And there we watch a show called Supernatural. Like that's just who I am, and I'm good. It's like weird and like I'm like so terrified, terrified that something's in my room. I really hope it's a nice ghost. <laughs> Seriously, um, but who knows? It it may not be. If it's not, that's terrifying. Oh my god. <laughs> I never touched a Ouija board. Why go after me? There's people who play with Ouija boards. I never done any of those stupid rituals like the Midnight Man game. Stupid Sam Goldbach. <laughs> Sorry, he did so many times and he can't blame anyone that. I'm getting a call from the house. I don't know why. I'm not gonna answer it. I'm just outside. I don't. I can't pause this. I, I'm not gonna answer. Um. I'm just in outside. I'm easy to find. <laughs> but okay, call my phone. I'm just outside. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, that that's that's the end of the spooky spooky things I think. Yeah, I talked about Emily, the swings. Yeah, I talked about things. Hi. You playing your guitar? Uh, I was also making a YouTube video. I'm still lamb. I still am. <laughs> I can't. I in your room. I didn't see you. I called Granny. You went with them, and I, I went into panic mode. Check outside, maybe. Outside, you outside. Come on. The swings. You outside. The swings. Okay. <laughs> I gotta find a way to edit that out. <laughs> okay. Um. Thank you for watching. And it's my grandma there. <laughs> okay. I need to end this video. I'm sorry. I'm outside and I'm making a video. Bye. Okay. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure make sure to hit subscribe They're down there and you can hit the bell too down there. But there's also that interesting button right there. It's my face. Ah yeah, click. That that's uh, that's a cool button. You can subscribe right there. Do it! Yeah! I I, I make videos sometimes <laughs> and they're sometimes interesting. Sometimes not. Usually not, I usually get interrupted. Woo! And if you enjoyed this video, check out these videos. This is a video YouTube recommends. And this is my last video. Thank you for watching. I already said this. <laughs> Click all the links down below, which is all my YouTube, all my social media, not my YouTube. Just my social media. I have a lot of social media. Almost every single form of social media. Check them out. They're pretty cool. But they're most likely DJ Bove or DJ Bove. Those are my names. Woo. Check them out and be active. I don't do those fan things. We don't got fans. But if you're active, huh? 
Yeah, that's cool. I I will I'll probably stalk you. That's who I am. I stalk people. I'm a fangirl. That's just what we do. We stalk people. Thank you for watching. This is a great month for spooky, spooky things. Watch more spooky videos. Thanks and stay cool.